it's December the 1st and this is my first Vlogmas. I'm down in Cornwall this winter so I thought I'd share with you a Cornish Vlogmas. We're going to be getting out on the beaches, um, we're going to be walking on the coastal paths, we are going to be going into Cornish shops, markets, pubs, um, just doing the kind of things that we normally enjoy doing in Cornwall at this time of year. Um, and then we're going to be getting back inside, cozying up and talking nitty. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, come and join me and let's get started. So this morning is a beautiful morning. So I thought I'd start off by giving you a little shot just outside of my window here so that you can see what I can see. Um, and then we'll get on and get outside. <laughs> Good morning, it's the 1st of December and I'm taking the train this morning into St Ives. So I've just arrived in St Ives. It's three degrees here, but it is sunny. It doesn't feel cold. It's the afternoon now, um, back inside, warming up 
with a cup of tea. Um, it was lovely sitting on the beach for lunch. But unfortunately, the only place we could sit where the sand was reasonably dry was also in the shade because, of course, the winter sun does come down quite low. Um, and on that beach, because this is the beach that's just down below where we're staying at the bottom of our road, um, it banks up so quickly and so high, it's difficult for the sun to get in um, and around apart from the bits of the beach close to the sea. Um, so, but if you can get, once you get down onto the beach, into those sunny parts, it is lovely. So we walked around there and warmed up after we, after we ate our lunch. So yeah, back inside, got myself a cup of tea. Um, and one of the things I was really, I'm really keen to share with you is the, um, yarn advent calendar, um, that I bought this year. And you probably saw me opening up the parcel, um, a few episodes back um i've lost track of where i am now but yeah um and this so this is from blue fern yarns and it's the first time i've had an advent a yarn advent calendar um so i'm quite excited about it and i've already decided the project that i'm going to knit with it in fact it was almost more when i saw um the project i then wanted to make sure that i had an advent um to go with it so uh, without further ado, let's pop that tea up there and I haven't got any exciting mugs here because we are staying in a rental. Um, so please excuse the very bog standard mugs. So here we are. Comes This is the advent from Blue Fern Yarns and it comes in a keepsake box. And we've got all our bits and pieces in there. So we've got a leaflet about um, about the advent and one about the yarn. And all the little bags are all labelled. Um, and I think there are some surprises in some of them, judging by the fact that they vary a little bit in size. So here we go. First of December. Bounty. I do love bounties. So that's not going anywhere but with me. And we have my first mini skein from my advent. Here we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful colour? So the theme for this year's Advent um, that Shannon from Blue Fern Yarns has done um, is a, let me just see how she describes it. It's it's a um, beach seaside um, sort of theme. So, um, and there is an order to them um, and looking at the list of the order, I'm going to assume this is number one on, on her order. So I think it looks like the yarns the in the bags are going to be in the same order, which is great because that then hopefully means that I can actually get started and start knitting without waiting to get to number 24. You might remember when I opened it, uh, the parcel, and I was thinking, you know, when when can I get started on it? So the project that I'm going to knit with it is the Daft Days Cardigan um, by uh, Rebecca Clough from The Prayer Beer. You may well have seen it. Um, talked about on, uh, on YouTube or on Instagram. Um, and it, yeah, you've got that graduating of the, of the colours. So my next, my thought is... What colour am I going to do with that with? And I did have a little look when I was in Stitches and Cream the other day, um, knowing that it was a beach, seaside sort of ocean type colouring. Um, and I have seen a couple of blues that I'm looking at there. Um, 
And I think I'll probably try and make a decision on that when I go along next week. Um, then I should then have a handful of these and it should make it a little bit easier for me to um, to make that decision. So, um, yeah. And then I've also got to work out the most efficient way to ball this up. Um, don't know if it's going to fit on my um, yarn swift. So, but we will see. I will work it out. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? So. So for the rest of the afternoon, I have two things in mind. I'm going to be doing a little bit of um, ordering uh, presents online where I have to. Obviously, it's it's great to go into somewhere like St. Ives and, and go and do a little bit of shopping. And I'll probably often buy some little extra bits and pieces to add into things, even if people have asked for specific presents. But generally speaking... My guys, my four grown-up children um, and their partners tend to ask for specific things, which is great because I know they're getting what they want to get rather than, you know, me having a guess at it. So, but I also like to add in a few little personal chapters and things. Um, and that's where shopping around the local shops down here in Cornwall was brilliant for. So this afternoon, what have I got left to do? Um... I'm going to be doing that Christmas shopping. I've got, uh, or making a dent in it, I think would be a better way to describe it. I am going to start wrapping some presents. I've got some beautiful books. Get that. What's that? This is Watership Down. The person it's for, I do not think, will watch my um, podcast. <laughs> I think I'm safe. But it's, it's just lovely. It's a hardback book. Um, and it's just beautiful. I picked that up in the work. Found the bookshop. Um, there's another book in there. Um, I've got... Um, I've got crochet hook and yarn for my daughter. Um Yes, yeah, so all sorts of bits and pieces to get on and start wrapping up. I also need to get my tree up. I've got a little space up here. I think maybe we'll we'll get a tree uh, put up here. Um, it's not very big because we have a big six foot tree back in St Albans, and that is where we're going to be spending Christmas. Um, so, but we won't be going up there until much closer to. Christmas so um, we'll have a little tree here in the meantime that we can enjoy and make this room feel a bit more Christmassy. Um, so after I've wrapped my presents I am then going to be sitting um, in my armchair just over there which has got the most lovely view um, and I'm going to be knitting a bit more of my field sweater um, which is coming along slowly and as it's developing, it's starting to really get very interesting um, and I'm really enjoying missing it. Um, but it is it is quite slow. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I do it precisely and I'm not having to undo it. Um, so I'm tending to do a few rows each day um, and then go back over onto something that's a bit easier. So I'll show you the, the spot where... Um, I like to sit and knit. Um, it's got a lovely view. And then this evening, um, I'll take you into St. Ives and uh, we can have a look at the Christmas lights. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all Quake at the sight 
I'm to open uh, day two of my Advent calendar. interesting so it's a slight variation so yesterday's one was called sea swell that's on that side and today's one is called water break they've certainly got lovely names haven't they and I've got these on the DK classic DK base so that they will work with the pattern that um I'm going to make them into, which is the Dove Days cardigan. So they're quite, they're quite similar, just slightly. Um, today's one, no, yesterday's one, which was Sea Swell, it's got a little bit more turquoise in it, a little bit darker. Um, and today's one water break is a little bit more, um, softer, paler, a little bit softer, paler, but as you can see, it's, it's quite hard to pick it up on the, on the camera. Um, so, but I think that will show, and I think that's the thing I'm going to need to do is to look for a yarn that's going to showcase them really well sort of to help the colours stand out but they are beautiful and beautiful names good morning it's december the second um and we are heading down the road to the hotel for a christmas fair
today is the 4th of December um, and the weather outside is really windy. It's blowing in straight off the Atlantic, so it's a northwest wind, so it's coming straight into our bay, straight in, um, in from the Atlantic, so it's really windy. Um, so I shall show you, show you some shots. We went out for a lovely morning um, walk out on the beach, but it was blowy. Um, so, so we had a day cosy inside. Um, this morning it's been usual sort of Monday morning cleaning um, on my laptop doing um, doing my work. Um, and, um, and now we've got to, it's, so the light has just gone outside. It's just, just started to get dark. Um, and so I'm just sitting down, um, doing my knitting. So, uh, what are we up to? So I've, uh, got my yarn advent calendar. This is the one that I've been opening. And so number four have a look see what we've so we've got I can feel something more in here the more than just a piece of yarn so oh well that's quite a change of blue isn't it that's really quite quite bright so I've been looking at starting to think about how I'm going to knit this up. So it's going to go into the Dove Days cardigan, which is um, Rebecca Cloud from La Beer's um, new design for Advent Calendar. Um, I am thinking I'm going to change um, the sleeves. She's, she's got a drop shoulder. And although the um, sleeves are quite um, fitted, I'm still never sure about the drop shoulder. I just... I, I've got quite, I'm quite shallow in the shoulder, quite narrow in the shoulders. And so I think I'm going to go for a setting sleeve, change it over to a setting sleeve cardigan. That's the plan. Um, so I'll have a little think about how I'm going to do that. Um, my thinking at the moment is what yarn am I going to put it with? So, oh, I meant to say, it comes with a twig. my cup of tea later um and these are so these are the yarns that we have got so far let me try and put those in the right order so it started with the sea swell then the water break then cove and this one is called whirlpool so there we go I don't know if I mentioned when I was opening these earlier, so I'm going to say it again in case I haven't said it. Um, the, it's 75% um, superwash merino and 25% nylon. Um, and it's double knit because the um, pattern for the Dove Days cardigan is a double knit. So I asked for a double knit advent calendar. Um, so I'm looking at what kind of yarn I'm thinking a sort of deep blue and tomorrow I'm going to be um, dropping by at Stitches and Cream in Falmouth so I'm going to have a look at their yarns and because I want to try and get that colour that main colour right to go with with these colours I want to choose something that I can actually see and put these yarns against so I'm going to try and choose something hopefully from um, Stitches and Cream um, so I'm going to have a look tomorrow um, and hopefully make a choice because I'm hoping that I can then get cast on. So I'm going to dive in even though I'm taking a bit of a risk. But what I can see from here is that there is that graduation going rather than a big jumping of colours. Um, and I think that um, therefore I can get started with this and start putting in the stripes as as and when I open them. Assuming, of course, I managed to keep up with it at that rate. So that's my that's my thought. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, and yeah, get started with it and see how it goes. Obviously, that then adds yet another thing that I'm knitting. But uh, there we go. Um, so right. 
another thing that I've been missing. So over the weekend, we had a lovely weekend um, and we got out and about and um, enjoyed it. It wasn't the best weather. Best weather was Friday. Friday was lovely. It was sunny all day. Um, it wasn't the best weather over, over the weekend, but we got out in it. Um, and um, even if we did end up by the end of the day um, sitting in the car, um, just enjoying looking out um, on the weather. Um, and um, so, yeah, as I say, so today we're, we're indoors, but because we've got this lovely view that I've shown you, um, even when it's windy and it's blowing a gale, you can still enjoy it and you can still enjoy the weather. So, so that's great. Um, so, and yeah, tomorrow, fingers crossed, it won't be quite so wet as I'm going into Falmouth, um, but I've got my raincoat, so I should be fine. I can't come down the call without decent rain gear. So I've been, um, knitting some mini Gansies. Um, I got this pattern from, uh, Blue Fern Yarns. Um, I saw it, Shannon from Blue Fern Yarns, who does the the yarns that I've got in my advent calendar. Um, she does a podcast with her mum um, and she was talking about it on there. And what they do, they knit these gansies to showcase their lovely different yarns and the, the nice colours they come in and so forth. And so they're on their stands when you when you go to um, yarn shows. Um, so, um, and but the pattern you can buy, and um, it was only a pound, and funds go to the Sheringham Museum for their um Gansey exhibition. Um, so yeah, so I've got this. So the plan is this is knitted in Rowan felted tweed, but it is just for a four ply, although you could do it on a uh, do a double knit and have a bigger one. Um, and um, I'm the plan is I'm going to knit a few of them in some Christmas colours, string them up, um, yeah, just as a bit of a a bit of a knitting de um, decoration, if you like. I've also also got me thinking that if I I could knit some sm slightly smaller ones, and then they'd be quite good for going on a tree. This is probably a little bit large to go on a tree, but you could knit a condensed version, um, and that would fit on a tree or. <laughs> Um, felted tweed actually this is, a, this is knitted in Rowan's felted tweed which I've got loads of um, sorry it's annoying me I can see an end that I've not tied it in um, oh and now it's popped out properly now there you go um, and um, with the Rowan felted tweed if you throw that in a normal warm wash with your jeans or what have you it will continue to fill further um and um, it then makes quite a nice matted sort of fabric um and i i've done this with things like hot water bottle covers and that sort of thing because it or or um cushion covers um because it makes a fabric that's um tougher um but in this situation i'm just thinking it would just make a, a smaller more compact jumper which would be great for a decoration so you could you could do that you could felt it or, or knit it this size and felt it to make a smaller decoration for the tree or you could actually knit it smaller but uh yeah there are options but it's fun and the different gansey patterns you can along the top here along the yoke you there you can play around with different sort of um patterns but you don't need to, you don't want to do anything too complicated because it's so small um it would just almost get lost, I think, really. So, yeah, so that's what I have been up to. Um, and, oh, I'm doing lots of other knitting. I'm doing the, um, still doing the field sweater, just still doing a couple of rows on that each each um, day as much as I can, and it's growing. I am knitting some more squares on my midwinter blanket, which, do you know, I was looking at that pattern August it started in um, and um, yeah I've made quite slow progress on that and of course it's a festive blanket it's supposed to be ready for Christmas and now here we are well into December um, I think it almost probably started a bit too early for me anyway I guess if you're doing a whole blanket and you might want to start it back then but I'm only planning on doing the cushion and I'm clearly finding that a bit of a challenge aren't I um, so <laughs> Um, what else am I doing? I am doing knitting my um, Lanark sweater, um, which is the funnel neck one from um, Rebecca Klaus. Um, and that's 
um, on the last sleeve and that's coming really well really pleased with that um i have just got to sew up a hat um made out of the same yarn that I did on the plateau um so loads going on um and um and on top of that i've got all these whips that i've been talking about and at some point i'm really want to get some of those finished because it's just a silly amount of whips so, so yeah there's lots of plenty so tomorrow we're as i say we're off to stitches and cream tomorrow and um yeah i'm hoping the trains are running properly they haven't been running really much today i don't know if that's the weather the station is just um below our um our flat and um you can normally hear them um yeah, not hoping today, so let's hope the trains are running tomorrow. And then hopefully, I'm um, hoping that I might get into, we'll get into St. Ives um, later in the week. We'll need to see what the weather does as to um, what we get up to. But if the weather's no good, we can just stay inside and keep warm and keep knitting. So uh, just before I go, I think what I might do is just, I'm just looking out the window um, and at this time of night, it's just been getting dark while I've been talking to you. The lights start to come up um, on across the bay. Um, and um, it looks quite pretty and always quite a sort of Christmas sort of scene. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get a picture of that and put that in um, at the end of, of today's um, video. So, Okay, see you tomorrow. It's the 6th of December, um, it's early the mo in the morning, we're getting out for our morning walk on the beach.
so good afternoon We're back inside um and uh had a beautiful beach walk this morning the sunrise was beautiful um and um i'll show you a picture of that and then we had a lovely walk down on the beach and we've pretty much had the beach to ourselves this morning which was just fabulous um and it's just one of those we we obviously caught a moment in time and now back this afternoon now the rain's come again um so yeah it was lovely to get out on that beach and, and enjoy the weather while it was beautiful so um let's start off by um as i say it's december the 6th so let's start off by opening number six he down so number six Oh, okay. So we have exotic seas. It's really quite the, immediately makes me think um, Caribbean seas, or indeed, to be fair, Saint Ives. On a really good day, the um, the light and the sand um, under the sea, at Saint Ives, means that sea can be this beautiful blue um which is really quite fabulous and and not you know not impossible to be that kind of color so let's have a look at what we've got already and i'm struggling to remember exactly where what order we're in i think it's that way so they're looking fabulous and you can see that changing in color um and Yesterday, um, which is why I was so quiet on the um, podcasting front, I went to um, Stitches and Cream in Falmouth by train, um, early start, um, so hence why I didn't get time to film myself opening yesterday's advent calendar. Um, and, um, and there was flooding on the railways and on the way back, I had about a two and a half hour delay, um, got lots of knitting done, but um it was quite tedious <laughs> so hey ho that was you know it was uh it was unlucky um uh, maybe i should have tried to work out if i could have got a bus back but anyway so anyway the important thing is i went to stitches and cream and i got some um lovely yarn um to knit as the main color so i'm knitting the daft days cardigan um by um rebecca cloud the crow beer and this is the colour that I've chosen as my main colour. So let's try and position this so that we can put those colours together. Yeah, so um, played around with lots of colours um, and this is what I ended up going for. So it is 100% um, British wool from um, West Yorkshire Spinners. Yep. Um, and um, it's a blue face Leicester double knit. So I think that they are going to go really well. So my next thing is I need to start caking up, balling off, um, and then get started with a test square. I'm really feeling quite excited about this in an ideal world i would like to have already had the yarn ready but i had to make sure it was the right color so of course i had to open a few to get um to feel a bit more confident and even now i'm taking a bit of a bit of a punt on it but um i think again that's part of the fun uh, and opening them and then adding in your, your new colors um and um i'm really excited about this and it's already got me thinking how many events could i do next year <laughs> um and i'm looking out for different advent pa uh, patterns i'm not generally a shawl knitter because i don't really wear them um but i did see a, a nice one on instagram um the other day so yeah i'm kind of keeping my eyes out and um the sweet shop blanket laura penrose's sweet shop blanket uh looks a great way to use up advent calendar um mini skeins um so yeah, I can. This I can see. This is uh, really uh, such a really fun thing to do. I was going to say it's really addictive, but ultimately, I think if these kind of things 
we want to do them because they are so much fun, don't we? So, yeah. So that's that. I'm going to get started with that later on this evening. Um, and what else to tell you about? So Christmas jumpers. So you remember that I knitted the red mini Gansey and that now has a brother to go with it in a green mini Gansey. Also needs its ends sorted out. I changed the pattern in the top there. So it's a sort of garter stitch running diagonal with moving diagonal along. Um, I also um, noticed that the pattern wasn't quite right in the decreases and that you really needed, either needed to alter the decreases or start with 22 stitches on the sleeve. So I thought because the sleeve was quite narrow, I'd change that to from 20 to 22 stitches that you pick up here. So you're picking up a bit lower down and making it slightly wider in the um, armhole um, to fit my mini person, obviously. Um, and then I also, with the neck, I made the neck a bit, so here it was just straight up, I think it was for six rows and then cast off. With this one, I made it longer than that. I think it was 10 rows and then I've turned it over, slip stitched it in to make that sort of nice roll neck, which, yeah, just makes it look really cosy. And I think it looks, makes it look more like a sort of Gansey jumper, but not that I'm any expert, but yeah, so... The, the next brother is going to be one in cream, which I've already started. Um, and the idea is that we're going to hang them on a line like that as a sort of Christmas decoration. Um, I know that the pattern is from um, Blue Fern Yarns, and I know that Shannon of Blue Fern Yarns, um, she hangs them up on lines, um, exhibitions to, um, to show, to to showcase her yarns. So they are looking really wonderful. What else have I been up to? So I have also knitted more squares of my Roman Martin story um, midwinter blanket. I chose not to do a blanket. I chose to do a cushion and I started it in August and I got these two squares done. I can't see that one very well we are um and then I kind of stalled a bit there was other stuff going partly because I was doing the next satin cardigan which was a um quite intensive color work uh thing so I didn't really feel I had room and then I just after of course putting it down it then didn't get picked back up anyway so now I have done a few more squares so there is this one and this lovely tree and it's lovely one. Um, so that's five now. Um, and I am now going. So I'm I'm on the sixth one. Um, so there, and there are six different squares, and then I need nine squares to make the cushion. So I will choose three of my favourite ones to knit um, a second one of, but in different colorways to what, to what the first one was to give that um, that variation. So, yeah, fabulous. And then we will sew them all up and um, make a backing for it, uh, which I think will probably be something quite simple and non-festive. So, although I don't think this is incredibly festive, it does mean I can then turn the cushion over when I don't want to look at festive version. So that is my lovely squares. Um, when I was um, editing the first few days of um, this video, um, on day two, we went to the Christmas markets and I was really disappointed because I managed to lose some of the footage that I took. Um, and it's one of those things that happens. Anyway, one of the stalls that I did miss um, was... Um, this lady had done all these lovely crochet um, bits and pieces, animals and characters and things like that mostly. Um, and my daughter bought a cat to give to one of her housemates because they're all giving each other little presents. Um, but I fell in love with this chat. 
reach over. Of course, it has a big spring. Raw rustling. Pus. One of his mice. So, those of us of a certain age, and probably that grew up in the UK, um, may well remember Bagpus being on the telly. For me, it was particularly at lunchtime. It was an age when I would have been really right at the beginning of school, um, where we would go home for lunch um, and we would have Bagpus would be on the lunchtime children's I think there was like 20 minutes of children's programs or something at lunchtime and we would watch that while uh, mum or dad depending on which parent was at home because both my parents worked um, were preparing lunch for us so yeah it's got kind of quite special um, memories of that and even now when I see it that sort of brings that racing back so I saw him and thought oh wouldn't he look lovely in my studio and then I thought but of course he needs a little mouse to talk to him as well so beautiful and he's so he's so well stuffed yeah he's lovely really lovely so yeah so that was one of the stores that I managed to not pick up on on that on that video and probably the one that I was particularly sad about and there was a, another lady that was built pictures using um pressed flowers and seaweed and things like that and they were really fabulous too she was um Based in Penzance, uh, so but there were there were lots of stalls, but and the second part of it was actually too busy to get into, so um, or too busy to film without getting lots of people on there that wouldn't necessarily want to be on my film, so um, I avoided filming that. So I've spent we spent this morning. I spent this morning. We have both been working this morning. Um, I've been answering more emails and um and then at lunchtime we went over to uh Truro um to a car or test drive a car um so all Monday life stuff um and um yeah I've got a weather warning for really heavy rain tomorrow so I think there's going to be a lot of staying in and knitting to be done then um and then yeah, Friday we're going to be heading back home up to St Albans um, for a few days um, and a canal boat. So um, so I'll keep uh, my eye out for anything that looks interesting footage and film that for you. Conscious, I don't want to give you too much life stuff. You know, um, I, whilst I know Vlogmas is a bit about life stuff, I don't want you to be watching hours and hours of it. So I'm just going to keep my eye out for the bits and pieces that I think might interest you and spare you from um, boring stuff um, and um, so that's it for today I'm going to get off and start um, boiling up and caking up my yarn um, and um, I will be back with you soon with another handful of um, vlogmas days um, to share with you so until then happy knitting and we'll see you soon Bye.